Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial on 3D modeling in SOLIDWORKS. So uh, today in this video tutorial, we are going to model a solid cast iron pulley with curved arms in SOLIDWORKS. So I will start SOLIDWORKS in part mode. Now select right plane, sketch. As the pulley is uh, axiosymmetric, so I will draw two center lines like these, one horizontal and one vertical. Now we have to uh, create the outer part and the inner part. Okay, so I will select the three point arc and uh, draw a arc like this here and uh, create a symmetric relation here between the end points about the center line okay now smart dimension right click this select midpoint and select this center line and uh, this dimension is 320 mm okay now this point the dimension here is 312 mm The dimension between these is 70 mm. Okay. Now draw a line like this here. Okay. The dimension here from this point about this center line is 300 mm. Okay. Now create a symmetric relation here like this or you can just mirror it okay now draw a three point arc like this here okay now this is important part I will draw another three point arc on this the these two points are going to be symmetric about this center line okay now the horizontal distance between these endpoints is 16 mm now the dimension between this point and this point is 2 mm right click this arc select midpoint about center line and uh, this is 280 mm okay now use trim entities and uh, trim this extra material here okay now draw a profile like this here mirror this line about this vertical center line okay now create a collinear relation here the dimension here between uh, this is going to be 40 mm okay and uh, we are again going to create a arc here like this okay and uh, again a arc on this arc like this okay now again create a symmetric relation between these endpoints of this arc okay okay now this distance is 42 mm uh, this distance is 2 mm and uh, the distance between the endpoints is 22 right click this arc select midpoint and uh, this is going to be 55 okay now again use the trim entity to remove this extra segment here okay now simply just go to features and revolve to pause space about this line click ok now select front plane 
sketch and uh, now draw a three point arc like this here okay now let's make this coincident on this edge and this point on this edge the radius is going to be 90 mm and the distance vertical from this origin is going to be 96 and uh, this point is going to be vertical with this origin okay so this is fully constrained here okay now i will exit the sketch go to reference geometry plane select the end point of this arc and uh, this arc click ok now again create a reference plane about this point and this arc ok click ok now select front plane this plane one ok and create a sketch now select the ellipse tool ok and uh, draw a ellipse like this okay this is going to be the shorter side let's create a vertical relation sorry horizontal relation between these points and uh, this distance is 32 mm this is 12 mm okay now select this plane tool and sketch again select the ellipse tool and uh, draw a ellipse here and create a horizontal relation between these points okay because the sketch is flipped therefore we have to make a vertical relation here uh, this distance is going to be 20 mm and uh, this distance is going to be 40 mm okay now exit the sketch uh, let's hide these planes we don't need them anymore go to lofted boss base select this profile and then this profile okay now front view let's move these connectors to the extremities okay now in center line parameters select this arc click ok now go to linear pattern circular pattern and uh, about this circular edge four times this loft one okay now go to direct editing delete face and select these faces on all the arms okay these protruding faces and uh, the gap here click ok okay now if you want to create a keyway here you can create it easily you just need to uh, create a rectangle here okay okay make sure the relations are perfect here okay Okay, so we have successfully modeled a solid cast iron pulley with curved arms in SolidWorks. If you like this video, please give me a like and share with this video with your friends. And please subscribe to our channel for more such video tutorials and awesome content. Okay, thank you for watching this video tutorial and have a nice day.